What's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. And today we're going to be talking about in-ear monitor packs. Uh, these are little packs that you can plug your in-ears into and clip onto your belt or onto your uh, pants pocket or whatever the case may be uh, to give you a little bit more freedom and liberty uh, in your playing and stuff like that when you're using them on stage. Uh, so I have two uh, inner monitor boxes here, one by Behringer uh, and the other by Elite Core. This is the Behringer P1. Um, P1, uh, and this is the Elite Core. Uh, there's a model to it. Uh, it's a long model name, so I have it linked in the bottom of the description um, down there or what have you. Um, but these are relatively inexpensive in-ear monitor packs. Uh, they're not wireless. They're wired packs but they live in the $20 range. You can get either one of these between $20 and $30. I think I paid maybe $29 uh, for the Behringer, and then I paid about $23 for the Elite. Uh, so, uh, and the pl prices seem to fluctuate from what I've seen, but that was what they were going for when I grabbed them. Uh, so you may can get them cheaper. They may be a little bit more expensive, whatever the case may be, but they live pretty much in the 20 to $30 range. So very inexpensive. So what would be the reason for using these, uh, in a live situation as opposed to just plugging your in-ears in? So I'll give you an example. Um, up to this point, I have used one of these things right here. Uh, a headphone uh, extender got a little paint on it from when I was painting before that I don't mind that uh, but um, this is a headphone extender right because most in-ear monitor cables are really short you know about three to six feet if you buy some of the expensive ones or whatever so most people uh, get a headphone extender to kind of extend the cable uh, longer than what they need uh, and that's what I did. But the problem with these, let me bring this back over for a second. The problem with these is, you know, they're long, yes, but they have weight to them. So they pull on you. So you can feel this, you know, when you have this plugged up, you can feel the weight of this pulling on like on the back of your neck and it gets annoying and it's distracting while playing. Whereas if you had a in-ear monitor pack that clips on your belt uh, and you plug into the bottom of it your input, so you, and then you plug your ears in here, then the only cord stretch you got is the normal cord drop, which kind of drops just straight down uh, to your... Um, you know, to your, you know, your belt level where it's normally the, the normal reach of an in-ear monitor cable. You know what I mean? So uh, you don't feel the stretch or the pull. And then the other thing is you have control over the volume conveniently right there uh, at the, you know, belt or pocket level. So if it's too loud, too short, the too loud, too low, you can uh, just adjust those volumes accordingly. Now, these are really, really simple. I've been playing around with these for the last uh, couple of services that I, church services that I've had. I've used these um, both to try to kind of um, see what they're like. Uh, and I'm going to give you my opinion on both of them uh, so you can see whether or not just you want to grab these or get these to use. Now, first off, uh, with the Behringer, uh, it is a little bit shorter, maybe about 15% shorter than the Elite is. Uh, durability, they're both made of a metal build, uh, so they're very durable. Uh, they both have XLR inputs, and they both have uh, a belt clip on them. Uh, and then they both have the plug for the in-ears, of course, and they have a volume knob. The thing with the volume knob on the P1, PM1, uh, is that it has a volume entertainer. So I have the min and the max, you know, those two little dots. I didn't think they would make much of a difference, uh, but because it, they don't have it on here. And I didn't think it would make a, much of a difference, but it does make a difference when you can look down and you can see how loud you have it turned up. That lets you know, hey, I'm not either getting enough input on this device uh, if I got it turned all the way up, you know, uh, just at a glance, you know, if I got to turn like right here and I look down and I'm not getting enough volume, well, I need to increase where I'm coming from because I'm not getting enough volume. With this one, you can't really tell, let it focus there. You can't really tell, like looking at it, 
if it's turned all the way down or turned all the way up. Now, it looks like it's turned all the way down, but actually it's turned all the way up. That's actually men, and then this is max, and max looks like it's men, you know what I mean? So that's a little bit of a an annoyance, I would say, to me. Um, but other than that, sound quality-wise, um, I couldn't really tell the difference like in the timbre of the sound, like the low end, the high end, the mid range, it didn't really affect that much as the plugging directly in. I think this is just like a pass through type thing. It doesn't have a preamp in it or anything like that um, um, to amplify the sound, uh, you know, higher than what you're getting. It's just simply just pass through. So what's going through it is coming out of it. Uh, they're not powered. Or anything like that so that would make sense to why uh, they're not uh, they're not uh, you know it doesn't change the sound it doesn't have a preamp in it or what have you so it's just simply pass through audio pass through uh, so uh, with that uh, the, the sound isn't as loud as a traditional in-ear box like if you got like a Behringer um, I forgot the model it's a P something but um, uh, it's a it's a one that's actually got a pre preamp in it and you have to plug it up uh, They have another one that's battery powered uh, You get a little bit more volume probably out of those than you would out of these But it's still not that bad I don't want you to think that the volume is like extremely low on these because it's really good um, I was able to get some pretty good sound out of them just using them now um, I will say that the elite core uh, I was able to get a little bit more volume out of this one uh, as opposed to this one. This one was maybe about two, maybe three dBs louder. I could get it a little bit louder than I could this one. Uh, just just a hair louder on this one than that one. Just noticing the max volume kind of pulled, pushed all the way up. This one was louder than this one was. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind as well if you just need some... Uh, that extra boost you may want to look at this one of course this one is a little bit uh, longer as well uh, so you know those are some different things to kind of look at with that uh, sound quality wise they both sound the same price quality price wise they're pretty much the same price uh, volume wise this one's louder bill wise they're pretty much the same we'll see how they hold up over the course of a few months uh, if I'm going to do that but I would go with the PM1 just just because of um, you know the the quality of it and just that indicator right there being able to know because you plug in your headphones and you don't know you know let's just say I got this plugged up and I it's turned all the way up but I don't know that it's turned all the way up and I plug it up plug it in and you know it's loud not and, and something starts coming audio starts coming through there it's like whoa that's loud you know you gotta turn it down so you know that those little details like that matter to me you know what i'm saying those little small things like that but that's the pretty much thing i got another video that i'm dropping as well behind this that will actually show you how to hook these up uh and use these in your uh, live situations just a basic way uh, to not want to stress this to those who may be in the comments uh, They may come in and say, you know, they have their preference for inner boxes or AVMs or P16s or whatever the case may be uh, This is a budget situation. This is a budget situation um, For for those who are wanting to get into using something like this But they don't have a whole lot of money to spend if you're if you're playing at the church and y'all got the Mackie mixer You remember those? I ain't talking about the digital boards. I'm not talking about the 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 super um, the super you know digital uh, Behringer X32 and all of those different boards that they got out now. I'm talking about the Mackie mixer, the 12 channel non digital. That's what you got at your church. There's no reason for you uh, to be going out and spending five thousand dollars on a personal monitor system for your church if you're rocking a Mackie board in the back of your church and all of those situations like that. So these are good inexpensive situations that you can use for your band, your you, your drummer. You just want to listen to your click tracks. You just want to hear them a little bit louder uh, in your ears. You don't want that cord drag pulling on the back of your neck. Uh, and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money to do it. You know what I mean? This is the route to go. Behringer, PM1, and then the Elite Core. Check them out. Links are in the description. You know how we do, guys. Hit the uh, subscribe button, the like button, all those buttons that do things on the video. And we'll look to see you guys on the next one. I'm out.
holla at your boy.